Fans often idolize famous individuals for their dazzling appearance and achievements. Nevertheless, many remain unaware of the profound tragedies that these individuals have endured in their lives. Sue Aikens is a prime example of such a person. Let us delve into the shockingly tragic life of Sue Aikens and shed light on the hardships she has faced. It's possible that you may not have been aware of all the devastating events that have plagued Sue's life. Susan Aikens, born on July 1, 1963, originally hails from Chicago, Illinois. However, in 1975, her life took a drastic turn when her mother decided to leave her father and embark on a journey to Alaska, bringing Sue along. They eventually found a home in a village situated 80 kilometers north of Fairbanks, the principal city in interior Alaska. It was in this remote settlement that Sue's mother left her to navigate the challenges of the frigid wilderness and forge her own path in life. It's worth noting that Sue Aikens probably embraces her native North American heritage. Sue's major breakthrough arrived in 2013 when she was selected as a prominent member of the main cast for the TV documentary series, Life Below Zero, which was produced by the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC. The show made its debut on May 19 and has continued to be aired on the National Geographic Network ever since. Sue joined forces with nine other Alaskans to showcase their lives in the series, and since its inception, she has garnered considerable fame and recognition from viewers. Despite her age, she fearlessly confronts numerous challenges in the wilderness and triumphs over them. Sue Aikens currently manages Kavik River Camp, an exploration camp that offers summer accommodations. Unfortunately, in 2007, she fell victim to a vicious attack by a male bear, resulting in severe injuries to her limbs. This incident marked a particularly unfortunate chapter in Sue Aikens' early days of settling into her beloved Kavik River Camp, which has been her home for approximately 18 years. Given the presence of an estimated 83 tagged and monitored grizzly bears in the area, the attack, carried out by a juvenile male bear named Marty, wasn't entirely unexpected. Tragically, while Sue was momentarily off guard, filling up water, Marty pounced on her, inflicting near-fatal wounds. Mistakenly assuming she was dead, the bear's miscalculation was one that an older, more experienced bear would likely not have made. Ultimately, Sue Aikens miraculously made her way back to her cabin, where she managed to call for help. However, due to her composed demeanor during the phone call, the authorities initially perceived the situation as a routine bear disturbance a not uncommon occurrence in Alaska resulting in a delay in their response. Additionally, Sue Aikens demonstrated incredible resourcefulness and resilience in the face of her injuries. She ingeniously utilized her gun belt to provide support for her dislocated hips and even stitched up her own wounds on her head and arm where the bear had viciously mauled her. As help failed to arrive, Sue took matters into her own hands and sought revenge by shooting the bear herself. While this incident carries a tragic undertone, Sue's response that day can be seen as a testament to her indomitable spirit and a tale of a courageous quest for vengeance. However, beyond this harrowing event, Sue Aikens has experienced numerous tragedies in her personal life. Given her unconventional off-grid lifestyle, maintaining a successful marriage and love life has always posed challenges for her. Unfortunately, Sue has faced an especially unfortunate fate in that aspect of her life, enduring a series of disappointments and heartbreaks. She appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show as a two-time widow, even making lighthearted jokes about being a black widow. The details of her first marriage and husband remain largely unknown, but he tragically passed away after battling brain cancer. Afterwards, she found love again with an Englishman named Eddie James. Their marriage was filled with deep love and they were blessed with two children, Jennifer Aikens, 37, and Jesse Aikens, 34. Sue and Eddie shared an unbreakable emotional bond, but their differing lifestyles made it difficult for them to sustain their marriage. They made sincere efforts to make it work, with Sue temporarily living with Eddie in Oregon and Eddie attempting to reside with Sue in Alaska. However, they struggled to adapt to each other's way of life. Ultimately, they amicably divorced in 2004 after 17 years of marriage. Despite their separation, they remained close companions throughout the years. Tragically, Eddie passed away in 2009, leaving Sue to face the loss of her second husband, Sue Aikens has not let her eventful romantic history deter her from finding love once again. It appears that she has rekindled a new love in her life. 
Her social media accounts reveal that she is engaged to Michael Heinrich, a New York native. Amidst these emotional hardships, let's shift our focus to a different kind of tragedy. In 2017, Sue Aikens took legal action against the former network BBC, which aired the show Life Below Zero, claiming that they intentionally put her life at risk. Allegedly, the production crew coerced her into riding her snowmobile at high speeds of up to 60 miles per hour across a frozen lake, disregarding her initial concerns about the potential dangers involved. Following the coerced stunt, Sue Aikens unfortunately lost control of the snowmobile as feared, resulting in a serious accident that left her with major injuries, including a broken collarbone. In a similar vein, rumors circulated in 2019 suggesting that Sue Aikens would be departing from the Kavik River camp, causing anxiety among fans who worried she might also be leaving the show. However, it was revealed that Sue Aikens had no intention of leaving the camp voluntarily. The reason behind the potential departure was the government's plan to force her out of the camp. This decision came after the Arctic Wildlife Refuge was recently opened for commercial activities, including drilling. As the sole commercial business within the refuge, Sue's lease was at stake, as the government sought to re-auction it in order to generate more revenue. Consequently, Sue might have no choice but to leave the camp. However, she plans to remain in Alaska and has been refurbishing an old 1800s cabin nearby as her backup plan, Plan B, in case she loses the camp. Sue Aikens also acknowledged the challenges that come with age, being a 59-year-old woman, especially in the demanding wilderness. This further highlights the appeal of the cabin as a backup plan, as it offers increased accessibility and greater distance from the potential dangers of encounters with bears. It seems that tragedies are an inevitable part of the lives of those who choose the arduous yet meaningful path like Sue Aikens, but if anyone can handle it, it's her. As a key member of the primary cast on Life Below Zero, Sue Aikens enjoys a remarkable income. It has been reported that she earns a substantial annual salary of $200,000 from the show. Additionally, during the period from June to September, Sue manages the Kavik River Camp, where she offers food and lodging to guests for a daily rate of $350. Furthermore, she is the owner of the only petrol station on the east side of the North Slope. Based on available information from 2023, Sue Aikens is estimated to have a net worth of $2.5 million. Having lived amidst the wilderness for many years, Sue Aikens has become well-prepared for life's toughest situations. Nature has become her home. She started her journey as a homeless person and eventually became a camp owner, utilizing her survival skills to build a successful career. She not only survived as a young woman but also emerged as a renowned personality. It takes immense courage to leave everything behind and forge ahead in life. Sue Aikens faced numerous difficult situations but remained unbroken, growing stronger in the process. This resilience stands as her greatest achievement in life.